Buffalo's top time of 12.54.31 seconds. The leaders will be right in the middle of the field in lanes 9, 10, and 11. Jay Crouch is in second place, and if you had that picked, you are related to Jay Crouch. And for more on him, <laughs> here's Mike Arsenault. Well, Sean, you should have seen the megawatt smile on Jay's face when I reminded him that he was sleeping on the day one podium position. He's been doing CrossFit. His first Open was at 14 years old back in 2013. Didn't have a great performance last year. What the difference was this year, he spent three weeks in Nashville to acclimate to the heat and humidity. That's what he's attributing to his great performance through one day of competition. And there is Jay Crouch. So far, nothing outside of the top 10 and two finishes of fourth or better. Next to him, Roman Krennikov and then Spencer Panchik, your top three. Well, Jay Crouch, 28th last year in Alpaca. Spencer Panchik, 24th last year. Roman won the whole thing, so they've got their work cut out for him today. Now, two guys who are looking to make up some ground as well are right next to each other in lanes 13 and 14. We'll keep an eye on Brent Fakowski and Patrick Vellner. We are underway. First sled push. Again, 500. 44 pounds, 246 kilos that they are pushing right now. What I like in this sled push right at the start, it's like you're in a boxing ring and they ring the bell and you get punched in the face in the first second. And then you see how people react to that. We've seen people push the sled, not move. Game plan needs to change immediately. Well, Dallin Pepper and Roman Krennikov are the two men in front. And they will be the first to unload their first two 70 pound kettlebells. So they lighten the load a little bit and will start on their next push. Pepper is about a sled length ahead of Roman Krennikov right now. You see Pepper, he has his hands on the handles, jamming his arms up together in that base position, which can greatly fatigue the shoulders and grip going into the legless rope climbs, where Roman on the backside has his shoulders on and his hands drop to the side. So it's gonna be less of an impact on his upper body going into the rope climbs for this first round. Jurgen Carl Gubinson has crept up now, and he is on the lead pace along with Krennikov and Pepper. BKG last year, 12th place in Alpaca. And there you have it, right side of your screen is Pepper, hands high, really compressing that upper body position where Roman arms dropped, right? So not a lot of blood getting pumped in the arms, not a lot of blood or fatigue going into the forearms. So we'll see how We've seen athletes change their technique as the test unfolds. Gubinson, Krennikov, and Pepper will be the first men done. And now James Sprague is there as well. Brent Fikowski finishing up. And Roman Krennikov, along with Dallin Pepper, heading to the rope. Jorvik Carl Gubinson taking a swig of water, and he's going to get started on his first two legless rope climbs. Here comes Brent Fikowski in the middle in the blue shorts. We said that Roman won Alpaca last year, which is the beginning of his campaign to get that second place position. In fact, that was when Roman actually scored more points than anyone in the back half of the weekend. And when he was asked about how would you have done with the climbs, he would have been better. <laughs> Now hands for this seated, feet must leave before the hips. Hands must start below the start line. At the top, both hands clearly over, and then control the descent until hands get below, and then you can drop. For the five rep mark, Krennikov will be done. And Krennikov is in the lead here. Brent Fakowski has now moved into second. You think about the technical aspect of these seated climbs, and you, then you talk about Brent Fikowski, and he's notorious for meticulously dissecting a legless rope climb or a hybrid rope climb. A couple years ago, we saw him do that leg wrap that no one did on the hybrids, where his legless until the leg. So Fikowski has been working on these. And honestly, if you're an athlete that have games aspirations and you have not been practicing this test in particular, then I think you need to go back to the drawing board in your games prep. 17 is the number that Roman Krennikov is looking to hit. And then he will load up his sled and push it forward to the next line. Well, Brent Fikowski staying even with Roman Krennikov. Said last year Fikowski was 11th. Pat Vellner actually took third 
As you said in the previous heat, Jack Farlow's 12.54. The winning time last year was 6.23. That is how different this test is this year. Roman Krennikov will be the first man to start. His sled push back down the field, now loaded with two 70-pound kettlebells. Now 31 kilos each. In that sled is 124 pounds, 56 kilos. And here comes Brent Fikowski now in second behind Roman Krennikov. And Fikowski using that same arm position that Krennikov is using. Usually when it comes to something technical, if I'm on the field, I, I just, I'll just peek over. <laughs> just look what Brent's I was like, doing. What's Brent doing over there? All right, maybe I'll try that. Here comes Pat Velder, who is now in a fight for third with Dallin Pepper. As Pepper passes him. So Velder's going to fall back to fourth. And Bjorn Carl Gubison is pressuring him. Yeti, the official cooler and drinkware of the Noble CrossFit Games. Head to Yeti.com to learn more. Roman Krennikov is on his first of two rope climbs on the second of three sets that he has to complete on that implement. We talked about the recipes being no missed climbs. And sometimes it's hard to judge how your grip is going to respond rep to rep on the legless climbs. And it's it just, it's hard to do, but it's more beneficial to maybe, it's like if you're unsure, rest an extra 10 seconds more than you had planned to versus get three quarters of the way up the rope and realize you started too soon. Brent Fikowski getting set to start his second and final rope climb. It's that leg swing from Fikowski on the right, and that's just to gain some momentum. Well, the women are coming up next, and we will have the six-time fittest woman on earth in the booth with us. Tia Toomey will join us for the first heat of the women's alpaca coming up here in a little bit. Now, Roman Krennikov and Brent Fikowski neck and neck. Brent Fikowski in sixth place overall. He was 10th in ride, the opening test, and then finished third in the pig chipper, but in the inverted medley, he was tied for 23rd. So trying to get back on track here and move himself closer to a podium spot. And that's a hard, uh, that's a hard placing to judge because it was just so skill based that you know a, a little misstep here could be five to ten places. I think Fikowski actually missed at the very end of the last implement, lost about 30 to 40 seconds, and a couple people passed him. But the 32 rep mark is when Krennikov and Fikowski will be able to load up their sled with two more kettlebells and push it forward. And they'll go back to start round three. 47 total scored repetitions. Well, Vellner's making a move along with Pepper and Adler. And the one thing with Vellner, great at pulling, great gymnast, strong. But that overhead pressing fatigue has always been a little bit of an issue for him coming down to this. And now we don't have a, a lot of upper body pressing, but you do have a lot of upper body interference with the sled push, with the clean and jerks, especially with the legless climbs. So him managing that work and just keeping him out of the red is gonna be a, something that Pat just needs to be very aware of. Fikowski, that was a smart move from him. As he dropped him to the ground, he put them on the sled. And now, Brent Fikowski, because of that great transition, has taken the lead from Roman Krennikov. Good and sled flat. It's not bobbing up and down with each step. Nice and flat to the bottom. Well, Fikowski is done. Krennikov is done. And now, back to the... Zeus rig for two final rope climbs. And Pat Velder is now loading his sled. He looks to stay in third place here in the heat. Time to beat again from Jack Farlow in heat number one. 1254.31 seconds. Dallin Pepper is back on the sled. Now Pepper has overtaken Velder for third as Fakowski and Krennikov head back to the rope. And Dallin Pepper solidly in third place as Velder took a break. Now Jeff Adler has started his sled push. 
Vellner stopping again. But Vellner's actually, I think that's a strategic break for Vellner so they doesn't redline a little bit. He's been doing that. And when it comes to sled pushes themselves is that maybe you feel when your legs really start to burn, I'm just going to take a break, let it flush out, and then move back into the press. Those, those look more like strategic breaks for Vellner than fatigue breaks. Krennikov and Fikowski both getting to work on their first of their final two road climbs at the same time. Fikowski done just ahead of Krennikov. Here comes Dallin Pepper back to the rope. Vellner working his way back, as is Jeff Adler. This last climb, so important between Fikowski and Krennikov. When to go? Are you going to go? Do I go with you? Reminds me of the old legless in uh, 2013 with Rich, Troyan, and Hendren. Maybe do a little fake out. Here goes Roman Krennikov. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. Krennikov got there. And Roman Krennikov back in the lead ahead of Brent Fikowski, who has yet to get on that crash pad. Krennikov taking a look over his shoulder to see where Fikowski is. And Roman's going to take his time getting back to his final 12 kettlebell clean and jerks. Bukowski still has not started his climb. So Roman Krennikov has a little more than two minutes to chase down Jack Farlow's top time. But more importantly for him, he is leading everybody who is immediately behind him in the overall standings and now looks to tighten his grip on that top spot on the leaderboard. Now Fikowski, meanwhile, is on his final rope climb, as is Pat Velner. So Velner has closed the gap with Fikowski a little bit here. And a no rep for Pat Velner in the oh, background. Man. He did not show control on the way down. That is going to be costly for Pat Velner. Fikowski doing his best Ace Ventura 2 impression. <laughs> Six rope climbs are too much. Well, Krennikov is halfway through his final set, and he got right to work as soon as Brent picked up those kettlebells. Forty-seven total scored repetitions here, and then that final sled push. Well, Krennikov is done. Oh. He's got a minute. And Roman Krennikov is halfway home. Takes a break. Dallin Pepper has now made it to the kettlebells for the final time, as has Bjorgen Carl Gubinson. He'll be at the bottom of your screen. And Pat Vellner still has another rope climb to go, but Roman Krennikov, second win in three events, and Roman is reigning right now. Fifth career test win for Roman Krennikov and 100 more points as he is locking down the top spot in the overall standings. Now here comes Brent Fikowski. This is big for Brent. A lot of the athletes he's trying to leapfrog towards the podium are struggling in this test. Jake Crouch and, Sa and Spencer Panchik, pardon me, as Fikowski is in, are the men in second and third. And they're way towards the back here in this heat. Spencer might be at. But Pat Vellner, meanwhile, has just run into just all kinds of problems here on this road climb. That's his third attempt that he has failed. And Vellner is in eight. Fikowski is sitting in six. Panchik 
has about half his last clean and jerks to go, so he's close. But Crouch is not close. Fiebig is not close. Dallin Pepper is now in. Here comes Bjorven Carl Gubinson. So Pepper will take third in the heat, fourth in the test. And there goes Bjorven Carl Gubinson. He is done. He's got to get across the finish line. Now Jeff Adler, meanwhile, is getting set to finish up as well. So Krennikov is your winner at 1234.59 seconds. Gubinson will take sixth in the test at 1423.84. Now Adler is across, and now Chandler Smith getting set to finish. And for Adler, great finish for him last year. Adler struggled, he got 16th out of 30, by the way, that were taking this test at the time, so bottom half, so a top 10 finish for Adler is big. Chandler Smith is now in. He'll take ninth place in the test, 1449.37 seconds. Watch out for Mertens, lane 20. Yella Hosta is in, Mertens is in, Vellner now. In all kinds of trouble. He could get capped. Vellner, eighth place overall, with 196 total points. At back to back sixth place finishes after a 27th in test number one, as Spencer Panchik comes in, but Vellner's going to be towards the back of the pack here in test four. Noah Olsen trying to get across. And there's Yonikowski, the man who won test number one for the third time in his career at the CrossFit Games. Now two minutes to go before we hit the time cap. Noah Olsen trying to just will that sled across the finish line. And Pat Vellner, meanwhile, the cheer that you just heard from the crowd, just made that final road climb. Now here goes Noah Olson. Olson is in. Tenth straight appearance at the CrossFit Games for Noah Olson. Closes out with a time of 1640.05 seconds. Jay Crouch and Lazar Jukic are the two men on the sled right now. And Sam Cornwaye is out there as he starts to work his way to the finish line. And you go back to Fikowski. All these finishes are great for him. Cornwaye was in fifth. Spencer third, Jay second, Moritz Fabig fourth. Well, 30 seconds to go before we hit the time cap. Well, Jukic gets across the finish line. Jay Crouch is looking like he might get time capped, and Pat Velder is going to get capped as well. I think Bailey Martin just sneaked in. Eight one hundredths of a second to spare. But Roman Krenikov, his second test win. 1234.59 seconds. Roman Krenikov, I'm not sure when Russian babies are born, they just switch the teddy bear with a kettlebell, but that might be the case based off his performance today in Alpaca. Just 
Got a little push from Brent Fikowski there towards the end as they became neck and neck towards the final round. But once it came down to the final climb, Roman Korenikov separated himself as Fikowski got a little bit of a no rep on that last climb. And then just like last year, it was all Roman Korenikov. Roman Korenikov, another test win, another 100 points. He'll have 379 out of a possible 400. And just to put a bow on the Justin Madera story, not terrible for him. He winds up in seventh place in the test unofficially. The men are done, the women coming up next. Here are your results. Farlow and Fakowski, two Canadians behind